Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Tales at Two again here at Cedar Run. I'm Miss Erin. Um, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics because I think it's kind of interesting and kind of the predator prey food chain sort of thing. Um, so we're calling today Eat or Be Eaten. Uh, so we're talking a little bit about how an animal avoids being eaten, but also about how animals are able to catch their food. So we're going to start out talking um, a little bit about Cedar Run. So we have, give people a little bit time to join us today. Um, so as you guys know, Cedar Run's Nature Center is closed. Our hiking trails and our wildlife housing area are open, as well as our hospital to admit any wildlife that needs our assistance. Uh, I would also like to mention to all of you guys out there, today is uh, Giving Tuesday, which is normally around Thanksgiving, but they have done a Giving Tuesday for the COVID-19 pandemic. So if you're able to give to us and you haven't already, we appreciate everyone that has given to Cedar Run to help us out. Um, today is Giving Tuesday, so we would appreciate any donations anyone can give. So like I said earlier, we were doing Eat or Be Eaten. So I wanna first talk about animals that are called prey animals. Does anyone know what a prey animal is? I'm sure maybe you've heard the word before. So prey animals are the animals that are preyed upon. That means they're the animal that's being eaten. So it's a lot of times smaller animals like mice and things like that, but sometimes larger animals can be prey animals too. They're just an animal that some other animal in their habitat decides it wants to eat, right? So what are some ways that maybe a prey animal could avoid being eaten? I know if I'm a prey animal, I do not want to get eaten, right? So I gotta have some strategies to help me out. So one of the main ones that our prey animals have is that they are able to camouflage, right? So if you're a smaller animal, you want to be able to hide in your habitat. You want to be able to hide so that other animal that's trying to eat you can't see you, right? And obviously eat you. All right, another one is a lot of times our prey animals might be fast or quick or speedy of some kind. They want to be able to avoid the predator catching them. Um, so these guys want to be able to move quickly and hopefully get away from the animal trying to eat them. Can you guys think of any other ones? I'm giving you all a couple seconds. So sometimes prey animals have excellent eyesight, right? So they need to be able to see the animal trying to eat them. They might also have very good hearing. So they can hear an animal coming toward them and they can avoid the, that animal. Right. Another thing that they might have is sharp teeth or sharp claws, right, as protection. We always think of sharp teeth and sharp claws as something to catch another animal with, but sometimes it's to fight back. So if you're an animal that has the sharp claw, you might be able to scratch the predator and keep him away from you. If you have sharp teeth, you might bite him and then he'll drop you and leave you behind, right? So our prey animals have things to make sure they don't get eaten. Obviously, sometimes they do because those predators, they do have to eat, but they want to make sure that they can avoid it if possible. So then we go to the predator. What is a predator? Kind of gave you a hint, right? The predator is the guy that's doing the eat, right? So he's going to be the one that's catching those smaller animals, and he's going to use them for his food. So a lot of times a predator is a carnivore. He's a guy that only eats meat. But some predator animals are going to eat meat, and they're also going to eat fruits and vegetables too. Then there might be another animal even bigger than them that's going to eat them also. So our predators are going to have a lot of the same stuff as the prey. They're going to have camouflage, but they're not hiding so they don't get eaten. They're hiding so they can sneak up on their food. They're still going to have some speed so they can catch the things that they like to eat, even if that animal moves quickly too. Right? They're also going to have good eyesight and good hearing. That's going to help them find their food along the way. Right? So these guys have some similar things, but they're using them for different purposes. In the case of the predator, those claws are going to help them catch their food or hang on to their food. Their, um, what was the other one? <laughs> so these guys have some similar things, but they're using them for different reasons. So this afternoon, I want to show you guys a couple things that uh, we have here. And we're going to try to figure out if these animals are maybe predators or prey or both, because there are animals that can be predators and prey. Can you guys think of an animal that could be a predator and a prey? They're eating something smaller than them, but there's something larger than them that's eating them too. Help me with that on this one. No thoughts. The big one that I always people come up with is snakes, right? Snakes are eating smaller animals like mice, but snakes are also getting eaten by bigger animals like eagles and hawks and owls and stuff like that. So our friends the snakes are predators, but they're also prey. They get to be both things along the way. 
So the first thing I want to check out with you guys is some skulls. We brought some skulls, unless there's any questions. All right, so my first skull that I want to show you guys is a real old skull, so it's starting to come apart a little bit. This is one of our friends that is called an herbivore. That means they like to eat just plants. So if you guys look at their teeth, they're nice and flat. They're not super pointed like our teeth, some of our teeth are. Right? Usually they have teeth in the front that are going to help them rip and tear the plants that they're eating. Do you have any ideas of what animal this one might be? <laughs> He's pretty big, but his skull is actually pretty small. If you guys look, it's about the size of my hand. It can be a little bit bigger. This is a younger one. So this is our friend, the white-tailed deer. So the deer are only eating plants. Even though they're large, they're not eating other types of animals. They're just eating plants out in the forest. So even though they're large, they still have animals that might want to eat them. Can you guys think of an animal that could maybe eat a deer? Right, deer's pretty big. <laughs> the main one around here is going to be our friends, the coyotes, right? They're really the only big animal that is in New Jersey that's going to be able to take down something as big as a deer. So for the most part, the deer aren't getting eaten by other things, unless of course they get hit by a car or they pass away, then the vultures and other animals may Someone eat. said bear. Not so much where we live in New Jersey, right? But in the in the further north of New Jersey and other places, sometimes the younger deer can get eaten by bears. So yeah, that's a pretty good one. All right, so our friend the deer are mostly eating plants. They're not going to be really eating other animals. Hunter said coyote. Oh, and yeah. someone said wolf. Oh, yeah. Charlotte said wolf. We don't have wolves in New Jersey, but where wolves live, they would definitely be eating a deer, you're right. All right, so I've got another herbivore here. What do you guys think? So herbivore, again, is a plant eater. This guy's got some pretty long teeth. You can kind of see it's about the size of my hand. Any guesses on who this might be? <laughs> We're always the delayed reaction. All right, this guy is actually our friend, the beaver. So beaver have a long teeth. If you guys watch my Thing on Friday, you learned that they are the biggest rodent in the, in the North America. So these guys have teeth that grow their whole life. So their teeth will wear down, their teeth will break, right? Because they're a rodent, their teeth are always growing. So this is our friend the beaver. He's using those long teeth to help him to eat plants, but also to chew on wood and branches and things like that. He also has the flat teeth, like the deer in the back, and they help him grind up. Those are his molars. The molars are our grinding teeth. We have them too. But ours aren't quite as flat as some of the animals' molars are. All right. So, this little friend is next. What do you guys think? <laughs> I like this one. I like his fluff. Ooh, he's blowing out of my hand. It's so light. So this one is not necessarily a predator, but it is definitely a prey. It could eat some small insects, but for the most part, it's eating berries and seeds. So this is actually a pigeon skull. So because of its size, it is food for lots of other animals, especially other big birds, right? But it will get caught by things like foxes and coyotes and things like that too. So this little dude has lots of things to worry about. He's gonna have to hide, right? He's gonna have to blend in. And he has to be a little bit fast, hopefully, to get away from those animals to try to eat. All right, so we had our herbivores, our plant eaters. We had our little guy who I said eats mostly plants, but sometimes he eats insects. Now I've got two omnivores. So omnivores are the guys that like to eat plants, but also other animals. All right, so these two guys are about the same size. One, if you look, has a little bit meaner looking teeth, right? He's got his canine teeth, his pointed teeth. He has his incisors in the front and he has those molars in the back. I'm giving answers, aren't I? I forgot about that. <laughs> Did you guys read it? All right, so this guy on this side is our gray fox. And the gray fox is a little bit smaller than the red fox out in the forest. So the red fox's skull would be a tiny bit bigger. This other one is our friend the possum. And the possum has lots and lots of little teeth. So a lot of times people are very afraid of possums because they flash their teeth at you and they look very, very scary. So our possum and our fox are <laughs> omnivores. So you guys make it fun of me because I gave the answers away. Someone said hippo. <laughs> hippo. <laughs> <laughs> 
So as you guys can see, something a little bit different with this guy. If we look at our deer skull, you guys can kind of see his eyes face kind of out in this direction, right? He's an animal that's mostly hunted. This guy is doing the hunting. So if you see his eye holes are pointing forward. So a fun little rhyme to remember is eyes in the front, I hunt, right? We have eyes in the front. Lots of animals that are predators have eyes in the front. And eyes on the side, I hide. So if you're an animal that's mostly going to get eaten by other things, you want to have a big field of view. And having your eyes on the side helps you see lots of different things. If you're an animal that likes to hunt, you're kind of peering around and looking at what's right in front of you so you can go down and catch it. So usually if you can look at an animal's skull, not always, but a lot of times, if their eyes are facing forward, there's something that's going to be hunting for food. And if their eyes are facing sideways, they're going to be something that maybe is being eaten by someone else. Someone asked if the park is open to walk through. We are. So anybody that joined us a little bit late, our nature center's closed but our hiking trails and our animal housing area are open for you all to walk around. Um, and our hospital is open for anybody that has an injured or orphaned animal that they need to bring us. Good question. <laughs> all right, we've got one more skull I wanna check out, friends. As you can see, much larger, way bigger than my hands. All right. He's got eyes in the front, right? So he's probably an animal that's going to eat other animals. And the funny thing about this guy is, even though he's really big and kind of scary looking, he is also an omnivore. He's not a carnivore, he's eating plants too. So his teeth, and I'm gonna hide the answer this time, <laughs> his teeth are much, much sharper, the canines in the front, and his incisors are sharper, but he still has molars in the back to grind his food up. Hunter says wolf. Oh, good, good guess, Hunter. Hunter is pretty close with size-wise. A wolf would be about the size of this one. But this one is an animal that actually stands very tall. He's not long like a dog or a coyote would be. He stands up very, very tall, and he does live here in New Jersey. Any ideas? Somebody asked what eyes do snakes have? Snake's eyes are a little goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you all of them in a little bit. <laughs> So this one is actually our friend, the bear. So we have uh, black bears in New Jersey, um, and they actually aren't as big as people imagine. They stand very, very tall, but for the most part, they're not eating anything huge. They're not usually going after the deer like I was talking about before. They're going after prey that's kind of small, like snakes and mice, and they're eating fruits and berries. So even though he has very mean, scary looking teeth, He's not eating anything too crazy. Now, if we had a skull of a brown bear or a grizzly bear or polar bear, that would be much meaner looking, right? And those guys are going to be eating a lot more meat than our friends the black bears are. All right, one more thing I want to show you guys, and then we'll get to our animal. We do have an animal we're going to see today, are some feet. So some of you guys may have joined me a couple weeks ago when we talked about bird feet. I wanted to show you these three guys. So these are all predator birds, or they call them raptors, right? They're all catching their food with their feet, with these talons that they've got. But as you guys can see, even though they all have a similar looking foot, they're actually very different from one another because they're catching different things. So my one in the middle is our friend, the great horned owl. Great horned owls are out at night and they do have a feathery kind of foot. Their talons do kind of, um, curve over to help them hold on to things right so they're hunting in the night so they look a little different but these two guys what are you guys noticing about those two they are two different kinds of birds that are catching meat but they don't really look like each other too much hunter says owl ah so this one in the back is owl you're right so these two in the front this one is my friend the red-tailed hawk and you can kind of see he has three toes in the front one toe in the back right this one that's got a much more hooked talon as our friend, the osprey. So the osprey are hunting for fish. So their foot has to hold onto something that's slippery. So not only do they hook over like a fish hook, if you were to able to feel the bottom of his foot, it kind of feels like sandpaper. So he has some extra grip on his foot to help him hold on to his food, right? So if I was an animal that got caught by these guys, what would be a way that I could avoid being eaten? Any ideas, right? Because the hawk and the osprey and the owl, they're catching their food with their feet, but they're not always successful. The animal they catch sometimes gets away. So that prey animal has to protect itself. So maybe it's gonna wiggle and it's gonna try to get away like that. 
maybe it's going to bite them, right? So they have to have that thick, scaly foot to protect them from the bite of the other animal, right? And they may scratch and they may do lots of things and they might end up getting away from it. So even though you're a prey animal, it doesn't mean you're always going to get eaten. Sometimes you might be strong enough to get away from that big scary animal. All right, you guys ready to meet an animal? I hope so. <laughs> so I maybe gave you a hint a little earlier, if you guys have been watching the whole time, on what our animal is going to be today. I said some animals are predators, right? They're eating other animals. Some animals are prey, being eaten. But some animals fall right in between. They get to be both. They're eating smaller things and bigger things are eating them. So our animal that we're meeting this afternoon is an animal that is a predator and a prey. It's our friend, the snake. You gonna do it, Miss Rachel? I can do it. All right, Miss Rachel's gonna show it to you guys. Lovely. So I can stop talking for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Right. So I have a friend in here who's very, very anxious to meet you. So we do have a snake and he is my friend Dylan. Find his head. Where you are. Oh, come here. Hi. So this is Dylan. Say hi, Dylan. <laughs> so Dylan is a corn snake. Corn snakes are native to New Jersey, and like Miss Erin said, they are predators and they are prey at the same time. So he definitely eats other things. If you think you know what he eats, you guys can write that in the comments. Let me know what you think he eats. And also, let me know what you think might eat him. Okay? So, what I want to tell you about him is that he is actually very quick. And that does help him get away from his predators. And it will also help him get his prey. Um, he has some really great coloration. So you can see that beautiful color on him. That helps him camouflage. It helps him hide. So, oh, you want to have a snake in? <laughs> <laughs> Someone said mice. Oh, yes, he definitely eats mice. That's most of the time what these snakes are going to be eating. They're mostly going to be eating mice. Now, he is a very, very strong snake. So what he'll do is oh he'll crawl, crawl into my jacket stop that please thank you um he is very fast and he is actually very very strong so what he'll do is he'll grab onto his prey and then he's going to coil around it really really quickly and squeeze and that's how he well that's how he stops his prey from moving that's how he kills it because he doesn't have any legs does he does he have any of those uh, somebody feet? said bunny rabbits he actually might eat some very small like, uh, baby bunnies. The big bunnies are probably good for him, but the small babies, he would definitely like to eat them if he um, came across them. Okay. Now, if you want to know what I want you to do is make a muscle with your arms. Muscle, and if you poke that, poke that really strong muscle, that will show you exactly how strong he is. He is almost all muscle all the way through. And that's going to help him move, that's going to help him catch his prey, and it's also going to help him get away. That strong muscle helps him be really, really fast to help him get away from predators. So if he's found, if the camouflage doesn't work, he'll be able to get away. Do you have any other guesses what he eats or what might eat him? Might like to eat him. Is there instead of a will a snake people? eat? Will a snake eat chipmunks? Will a snake eat chipmunks? Definitely, definitely. If they can catch them, chipmunks are also very, very fast. So he has to be able to catch them. Oh, she's sneaking. Yeah, <laughs> he's got to be very quick for them. He also, the really cool thing too is that this kind of snake is also, like I said, very strong. They can climb trees, so they will also like to eat things that live in trees. Will they eat owls? Probably won't eat owls. The owls might like to eat him though. Okay? Most of our owls in New Jersey are big enough to eat a little corn snake like this. Especially like a great horned owl or a barred owl. They would like to eat this guy. And that works too because these guys are nocturnal too. So they're coming out at the same time the snakes are, the yeah, owls are. Um, Hunter says hawk, a hawk. A hawk would definitely like to eat these guys too, yes. 
Fox will eat just about anything, snakes included. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did mention the eyes. So the cool thing about this guy, Miss Erin said that if they have eyes on the side, they hide, and eyes in the front, they hunt, right? So what do you think this guy has eyes for? Do you think he has eyes in the front to hunt? Or does he have eyes on the side to hide? Hmm. Oh, you might see his little tongue sticking out too. Now his eyes, if you take a look at them, they're most right? Like we said, snake eyes are a little bit weird. Snakes, for the most part, are going to be hiding. Okay? Yeah. So they're going to be hiding away. They're not using their eyes to hunt like a lot of other animals are. So animals like the hawks and the owls and the, um, what else, the coyotes and the raccoons and the foxes, they're all using their eyes to hunt. This guy, he's using other things to hunt. So he's actually going to use his tongue. He's going to use his sense of smell. Um, he might use, um, he can't really hear too well, but what he can do is feel vibrations. So he's a little bit odd for the hunter. There's always exceptions to the rules, guys. Any other comments? Hmm. All right, I think it's about time to put him away since it's getting a little chilly and he would much rather be back inside. What do you think? I think he's really, really cute though. All right, well, like Miss Erin said, our trails are open, our wildlife housing area is open. You are more than welcome to come down and visit. Um, I would recommend please still wear your masks and observe safe social distancing and all that. Will he bite? Will he bite? I do not think that this individual snake has ever bitten anybody. That doesn't mean that he can't if he's not scared. And my rule is anything with a mouth can bite. Whether it does or not depends on how you treat it. So if you're going to scare him, of course he's going to bite you. But we generally try not to scare him, and he's very, very used to holding people, or people holding him. Um, but don't try this with wild snakes. Don't try this with wild snakes, guys. The wild snakes will bite you. <laughs> they will definitely try to bite you. <laughs> but he has not. All right? All right, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very, very much for joining us, and I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. I hope to see you soon. Bye.